Hello, soldiers. Commander Sirius here. A PTS patch with some balance changes just dropped. And as long as there's no glaring issues, we expect it to make it to live soon. Medics will no longer be able to revive Maxes. And the Banshee and Airhammer are getting hit with the nerf bat. Let's dive in and see what changes are coming. We'll see you planet side. So, soldiers, the biggest news by far is they've been hard at work trying to fix some performance issues we've been seeing. If you've been playing at either lower pop times or on lower pop servers, you probably haven't noticed this. But on high pop servers during prime time, there have been a lot of latency issues. They've isolated some of those issues to NPCs, that is, terminals, vehicles, generators, conduits, and some mission objectives. And the biggest addition was capture the flag conduits. So while those performance issues were always there, they were deepened and worsened with the release of capture the flag. These changes should help performance whether there's capture the flag bases active or not, but there could be associated bugs as they're changing how these NPCs check for interaction requirements. So they are asking people to get on the public test server Try this stuff out, see if they can isolate any of the bugs before they push it to live. Next up, they are bringing back some class and faction specific abilities that were available during campaigns. That is the VS Infiltrator Cloak, the NC Heavy Assault ability, the TR Combat Medic ability, and the NSO Engineer ability. Ro mentioned he thought they were a little unpolished when first released, so they made a few adjustments to them, so they might be a little different than you remember. The patch notes also mentioned they do plan on bringing back the light assault tool, the jump pad. It did not make it to PTS in this round, but as long as they get it ready, I'd expect it to go in with the patch. Now on to the biggest news of the patch. Maxes will no longer be revivable. Maxes have always been a complicated balance item in the game. For a very long time, people have suggested taking away the medic's ability to revive them as a way to balance them. So those point holds that are just constantly using medics to stand their maxes back up, you could actually break the holds if you can get the maxes down once. Now, even though they're taking the revive away from Maxes, they are going to make a few changes to help them out. The Nanite cost is dropping down from 450 to 350. The headshot multiplier on Maxes is going from two times down to 1.5 times. And they've added a new defensive slot item called Fallout Hardening. So your Maxes can survive orbital strikes. So it'll be interesting to see what the new meta slot is when one orbital strike could wipe out an entire point hold of Maxis. It will also make Punisher or Underbarrel grenade launchers more important because they could keep Maxis alive through those orbitals. And they will be more dependent on engineer support because they can't go down at all or you lose them. Or maybe people just start running membership and nanite boost so they can pull more of them now that they are a little bit cheaper. In terms of tuning class-specific maxes, it's only the NC max that took a hit. They are losing some damage at range across the board. Either increased damage falloff or reduced pellet damage, or both. On to dealing with air-to-ground ESFs. A few patches back, they did increase the damage of lock-on launchers. The goal was to give infantry more tools against air-to-ground but it had a very high spillover into affecting the air-to-air -air combat. So ground-to-air launchers are getting a nerf against ESFs, and they are more specifically going after the air-to-ground culprits. The Banshee is taking a hit to its magazine size, and it is getting a 33% reduction in its max damage blast range. The NC Airhammer is also getting a magazine nerf, and it is taking a 40% damage reduction in its max blast damage. So that is all really good news, trying to unwind some of the general defense tactics and really focus on targeting the problem areas, which is that air to ground ability. 
should make it a little bit better for air-to-air -air pilots. One little change I didn't touch on, they are making some adjustments to the Nimitz reactor, a defensive slot for the Vanguard. Shield recharge delay has been standardized to six seconds. The recharge time has been upgraded as you upgrade the reactor. And now no matter what ability you use, when it is triggered, you will immediately get 500 shield. So it's sort of like a mini fire suppression that could be used in junction with fire suppression. It'll be interesting to see if these changes make the Nimitz reactor a viable option in the defensible slot. There are some miscellaneous changes that are going to come with this patch. There's a couple I'm really interested in, one being the fixed a pixel-wide separation of tiling textures that would appear at certain MIP levels. This bug has been around for a while, and I forget when it showed up, if it was DirectX 11 or what, but on certain textures, light rocks and snow especially, you would see black jagged lines highlighting or surrounding them. So it didn't look like the texture was seamless, it was like a bunch of puzzle pieces connected. So I'm hopeful that note will correct some of those issues, and that will go a long way to beautifying the environments. The next thing they did is the first character on a new account can no longer skip the tutorial. And maybe that's just them trying to make sure new players take advantage of it and don't try to rush into the game and then realize they don't really know what they're doing. Or it could be that people or hackers or whoever that is getting banned can't turn around and immediately start a new account. They at least have to sit through the tutorial again before they can start doing whatever they were again. And there are a few others that I think are relatively minor, but you can look through those. The patch notes will be down in the top comment. Again, it is just on public tests for right now, so if you're going to help them out and check those out, great. Give feedback on the forums. Otherwise, I will let you know when it hits the live servers. But soldiers, that'll be it for now. Until next time, I'm Commander Sirius, and I will see you planet side.